I just feel that all our houses around here are completely blighted. To have these 50 metre high um, blot on the landscape pylons would just make it a far less enjoyable experience. When people approach Tunelsy, all they're going to see around the entire village is pylons. We're talking here about 400,000 volts coming through these cables. We'd be able to hear that buzzing day and night in our houses. It's an extraordinary thing to suddenly have to live with. I'm Sue Turner from the Save Our Valley campaign, and I'm here on the edge of Nailsey where I live. At the moment, these houses look out on a beautiful valley, but if National Grid had their way, all this area will be marred by high voltage power lines and massive pylons, not something that any of us want to see. National Grid have got plans to put pylons all through the area because they want to connect up a new nuclear power station at Hinkley Point with Avonmouth. The first thing we heard about it was when one of our neighbours knocked on the door one day and said, you probably don't realise, but a little piece of information that's been in the local newspaper actually could mean a huge change for this valley. So we went on the internet and found out about National Grid's plans to put 150-foot pylons all the way through this area. And that's when we first became aware that this was a serious threat. The second thing we found out about was that there's hardly any time for consulting on this issue. There's a very, very short consultation period just between now and the new year, and after that, National Grid make up their own minds and we're stuck with whatever they decide to do. Well, I think some people find it difficult to imagine 150-foot pylons, but if you look at a, a mature oak tree, as we've got in some of the fields around here, you're talking twice the height of a mature oak tree. So these are huge structures, and National Grid would have you believe that they're an open structure, that you don't really notice them in the landscape. You notice them. You'll notice them forever. They can't be blended into the landscape. They can't disappear. So that will form a, a metallic structure around our town, around Nailsey, and through the rest of this area. And it'll feel more like living in inside a great big electric fence than living inside a pleasant urban environment. It's just not something anybody around here wants to see. This is Backwell Lake, which is a fantastic local amenity. People from all over this area come here in the winter time. We feed the ducks, we see how things are coming with the swans, and in the summer we love to come for picnics and enjoy the area. But this is exactly where the pylons are planning to come, right along this corridor here. This is what they call Corridor 2. This is the environment that they think 150-foot pylons should be in. We've brought all the grandchildren down in the various stages of growing up with bits of bread for the swans. It's just such a lovely place and it'll be a shame that it will be spoilt by these monstrosities. <laughs> We've got this lovely lake, which if we have pylons coming straight over the top, we'll spoil it. We'll get less wildfowl here, likely to get accidents with the wildfowl f flying into the cables. The pylons would surround the entirety of Nailsey as a whole, and I live in the middle of Nailsey. And when people approach to Nailsey, all they're going to see around the entire village is pylons. And it's not just going to have a knock-on effect for those who are directly next to the pylons themselves, but for the village as a whole. It's a beautiful place. It's very green. And then to have lots of pylons rooted through here, I think it'd be a, a real shame. I think it would ruin the environment completely. And I imagine a lot of families would be put off from coming here for picnics and, and to play in the summer and to come and feed the, the ducks. The National Grid should be looking at ways of providing the electricity underground uh, rather than spoiling a beautiful spot like this. As I've said to all my friends who don't live in this valley, we are lucky, those of us who live here. It is a beautiful part of North Somerset and if those pylons come marching through this valley, it will be a terrible scar on the valley itself and also taking in the village is going to come right the way round, right round and encompass our village right up to Feyland. It comes up across Backwell Lake, all the way across this area which is Backwell Common 
And what we feel is that it's impossible for National Grid really to have understood what happens here, what, what is in here, this environment when they put their plan together. We feel they, unfortunately, the consultants who put the report together looked at this area from a map on their desks, didn't come out here, didn't see it. And that's why they failed to understand just what desecration they would bring to the valley if the pylons came here. Now, Raxall, it would go right across a school's grounds and uh, over a church as well. You get hundreds of school children walking through here every day, going to and from school. And what would change about this is it suddenly becomes this threatening, urbanised landscape, which isn't the open valley that we all enjoy. There are pylons the other side of Nailsey, which uh, were built in 1933 and 1958. And uh, of course it's important to have that network. We all need it for our televisions, for our kettles and everything else that we enjoy. However, the situation there is there are now houses underneath those pylons. And what we're saying to National Grid is actually you can make the situation a lot better for people that side of Nailsey by not building your new network over here. And in fact, moving things away from the houses on that side of Nailsey as well. So that way, everybody gets some benefit. I think everybody is worried about the health concerns because we just don't know what it means for our health and our children's health more importantly. Lots of things are being said to us on one side and the other, it is a problem, it isn't a problem. We just don't know and National Grid I think have been remiss in not giving us proper scientific information on which we can assess just how much of a risk this is to our families. We're talking here about 400,000 volts coming through these cables. We'd be able to hear that buzzing day and night in our houses. People need to act now and act very quickly. They've got to contact National Grid, either through the paperwork that they get from National Grid or online. They also need to write to their MP, Liam Fox. They need to write to their councillors as well. All the information about who you need to write to and how to contact them is on our website. They also need to register with Save Our Valley as supporters. Again, you do that through the website. It's all really easy to do. And we encourage everybody to take action and do it today because we've got so few days left to save our valley.